Now, from mid-March to early April, Little Leagues around the state wondered, would there even be a season? Well, after the governor's proclamation on Tuesday opening up youth sports, Little Leagues now know they'll at least have a semblance of a season. And for Raccoon Valley Little League here in the metro, it might look a little bit different. But hey, at least they get to play ball. We typically have anywhere from 400 to 500 kids registered in our spring season. And then we usually have around 300, 350 kids registered for our summer season. The spring season didn't happen for Raccoon Valley Little League, but if the lawnmowers are any sign, summer baseball is good to go. Nobody's trying to win any pennants or, or tournaments or anything like that. So it'll be a lot of fun. It'll be very relaxed. For Denise Ferreira, Raccoon Valley won't open the gates day one of restrictions being lifted. We're not going to start right on June 1st. We need to do our due diligence. We need to make sure that we're able to put proper protocol protocols in place. Some of those have been laid out by Little League International. Other guidelines will be done by the Raccoon Valley Board. We'll be doing things like, you know, closing bleachers to fans and using those bleachers and using along the fence line and the dugout for places for kids at bat to wait their turn instead of having everyone crowded into a dugout. That's just a couple of rules that will be put into effect. They also will allow players from outside the Little League's normal boundary to play here this summer if they'd like. We will not be bound by any Little League rules for out of boundary players since it's not truly a Little League season. So any kids who want to play um, will kind of have uh, their choice on any, uh, any programs that decide to do a summer program, they'll have that choice to play with them. So for now, we're still out here maintaining our fields. Uh, we're still um, keeping track of everyone and everything that needs to be done to keep our little leagues in shape. All with the plan of taking the field sometime in the coming months. I think it's just making sure that we're able to put everything in place first and that everyone feels safe and comfortable coming here. For more information, you can visit RaccoonValleyLittleLeague.com.